thanks for tuning in. My wife wanted to show off the village that I've been working on. And here it is. It's a combination of a few things. Uh, we have residential areas. We have a marina, obviously. We have a carnival kind of setting. Um, then we have a shopping center. And then uh, kind of like a fantasy land, Disney themed here and there. Um, there's little elements here and there that I incorporated into the different areas of the village. Um, you have to spot them. So it's not, some of them are obvious, some of them are not so obvious. But if you go through the whole village, and people will go through it, they'll just stand here like I do and appreciate everything that's, that's here. But you'll catch little things here and there, and you may not catch it all the first time. You'll come back and look at it again. That's the fun part about doing this. So my wife's going to go through the village. I'm going to turn some stuff on here and there. This is the daytime view, and I'm sure she'll come back and do the, the nighttime view for you guys. But please enjoy. Okay. So my hubby, actually, he made all those rocks back there or mountains. And he made the Grinch Mountain right there. You see that? That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. So I had recorded a video and I just never uploaded it about this monorail. So I went to the Salvation Army to go just look around. And I found this Disney monorail. And I went up to the register and I was going to ask if it works. Because it was like, I think, 35 How much was it, baby? 35 39 so 40 bucks, basically. Okay, so $40 for this guy. And um, the people that were paying in front of me wanted to pay for it. And I felt kind of bad, but they would not let me pay. And so they actually paid for this monorail for me. And I was so happy. I was crying. Well, wasn't I in tears? Oh, yeah. And she, when she got home, she said... She said You'll never imagine what happened to me. And I said, you hit a cat, you hit a dog. <laughs> but then she was holding this in her hands and it, it started registering. And uh, then she explained to me what happened. So, um, yeah, somebody paid it forward. And uh, we do that all the time, but not expecting to get it back. Right. We never expect it. We just do it because we want to. And I'm so glad that my wife got to experience it. You know, somebody did it for us and we incorporated it into our village. It was really nice. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was a really nice moment because at the time that when I went to the thrift store, I mean, I was, I hugged that couple. It was a couple, a young couple too. Um, we all hugged, the cashier hugged. I mean, everybody was in tears. It was just really, really nice. Never experienced that before. Like my hubby said, we always pay it forward. We always take care of other people, especially him. When we go to Crackle Barrel, especially when he sees an older couple, he always pays for them and he always wants to remain anonymous. But, um, <laughs> But yeah, this, there's so many nice people still out there in this world. And if you guys can pay it forward to somebody, do it. I mean, it's the best feeling. Believe me. I mean, it's a good feeling to pay it forward for somebody. But when you receive it, oh my goodness, I've never felt that. And I felt it with this. I mean, they paid for it completely. Wouldn't let me pay a dime. All right. Enough of my rambling. Let me show you guys my hubby's village. All right. So... I don't know if he wants to go ahead if you want to record it, babe, and talk through it and, and point out certain things, what you did and stuff. You can do that because this is going to be its own separate video by itself. Yeah. Sorry for the movement, folks. <laughs> so basically, um, when we start over here, this is a shopping area. And you have the different stores. And my family knows that this is like a big thing for me. So every time a store comes available, they... They go out and they buy it for me, and so I've kind of put them into uh, into the village here and there. I know what you're thinking. I know I'm hungry too. And you can see the Disney pieces here and there. And there's some collectible pieces throughout as well. They're just incorporated into the village, like this piece right here. This is Graceland. That's actually a, a, a collector piece. And then you can see the Disney characters. And 
I'll give you a view from over here. That's the marina. It's a little choppy. Don't mind my mess on uh, my supposed office area. <laughs> and the sad part is that he had some parts, some uh, really nice pieces that didn't function this year, especially like a water fountain that he had that used real water. It was not working this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm uh, kind of panning across to the right. And as I move away, I'll show you that uh, that monorail system. Now this is a daytime view. Oh, you know what? I need to put batteries in it. Already did. Oh, you did? Yeah. And you up? can see that this is the hot ride. Everybody's just kind of waiting for... Uh... Popcorn. Extra butter. You can see it's just characters incorporated into the whole thing. Where did he go? Right here. Forgot all about him. And then of course you see the bumble next to the tree because that's what he learned or trained to do. He was trained to do. There's the genie. And just different characters. You see Buzz there, respecting law enforcement. Again, there are pieces incorporated everywhere. You kind of have to just look and see what you can spot. And there are a lot of pieces that are battery operated that are not on right now. And then, of course, it would not be complete without our outcast. And there it is. Hope you guys enjoy the video that my wife's going to put together. And there will be a night time of this as well. Did you show them the Grinch, where the Grinch is at? I went through the village. I figured that they can uh, probably pick it out, but since you brought it up, <laughs> we had the Grinch Mountain, but we didn't want to put them on there. Honestly, we can't reach it anymore. <laughs> but I figure how appropriate that he would be stealing from the toy store. And then you see my uh, pioneer woman, the Murphy child? She's over there. Yep. Alright guys, this is definitely a passion. I enjoyed it as much as uh, everybody else in this household does looking at it. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, thank you for watching.
Hi guys. So welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to tell you guys that something that happened to me today, something that's never ever happened to me before. Um, I was an emotional wreck. I was crying. I went to the Salvation Army and I was looking around and I seen something that I wanted to take but I was going up to the cashier to ask her that if it doesn't work, would I be able to return it? And there was this couple in front of me. They just, let me tell you guys, they paid for my item. And my item was $35.95. And I told them, I said, oh my God, it's $35.95. And they didn't care. They wanted to pay for it. I offered to pay some of it at least, you know, something. They were like, nope, they weren't having it. It was, it was really sweet of them. It's never happened to me before. I mean, we've always been the ones paying for other people. And this was the first time that this has happened to me. So, oh my God. Anyway, I just think it was just really nice. They didn't have to do that. It was a younger couple too. And very, very sweet. And so I'm going to show you guys what that item is. I was so excited. Honestly, even the cashier gave me a hug. We all hugged. It was really sweet and emotional. But I'm going to show you guys what, what I, it is that I found. All right. I found this Disney monorail right here. And this monorail was $35.95. And they paid for it. They paid for this Disney monorail. It's an old monorail from, oh my God, I don't know when what year they made this. But I liked it for the Christmas Village. And I was going to ask if it worked. Because, you know, for $35.95, I wanted to make sure it was working. And the lady said it, it does. It should work. They test everything. But that couple bought that for me. Oh, my goodness. Like, thank you so much. Kindness is, is very rare nowadays. But it's still out there. And I appreciate them. And I'll never forget that. And, of course, I'm definitely paying it forward. Still paying it forward. My husband always pays for, especially when he sees older folks eating at uh, restaurants, he'll go up to the cashier and pay, like especially at Crackle Barrel. He used to do it all the time at Crackle Barrel. And um, I've done it at Starbucks a few times where I paid for the person behind me and stuff, you know, and just those things, you know, always not expecting anything in return. And look at this, this happened. Oh my goodness. It's an amazing feeling, you guys. Whenever you can, if you can, even if it's just, you know, some portion of paying somebody's bill for something, you know what, do it out of your heart, not because you expect something in return. And this, my God, if you can do it, I recommend you doing it. It's the great feeling being able to help pay for somebody else's stuff. And then, you know, years later, here I am and somebody paid it forward to me. And I truly appreciate it. I'm truly blessed. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited and how thankful I am for this. Because this is just an awesome and amazing feeling. Anyway, all right. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Bye.